Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you the easy way on how to draft this denim sleeve using a step-by-step -step method that I will be showing you. Just watch this video up to the end. Here is my pattern paper for the sleeve. Still, I will cut this sleeve while my pattern paper is on fold like the way it would be if drafting directly on fabric. Then, the first thing, I draw one horizontal line at the top of my pattern paper, which will be my sleeve head guidelines. Don't forget, this side of the sleeve is on fold, and it is the center grain line. Next is to insert denim sleeve length. My denim sleeve length is 23 inches, plus 0 0.5 length is giving me 23.5 inches so i mark 23.5 inches here then i square across a straight line like this next is to determine sleeve bicep lines from this point a I measure downwards, chest measurement divided by 12 plus 2. My chest is at 6 inches divided by 12 giving me 3 inches plus 2 giving me 5 inches. So I mark 5 inches here. Then I square across a bicep straight line like this. Next is to determine sleeve elbow height line. I measure from this bicep line to sleeve hemline, divide by 2 to get the midpoint. Then from this midpoint, I mark upwards 1.5 inches for the position of my elbow line. Then I square across a straight line like this. Ladies and gentlemen, our four horizontal lines that are needed for this project are ready. Next step is to insert my calculated body measurements to these lines accordingly. First is to insert bicep width. I come to the bicep line. I measure inwards chest 36 divided by 4 giving me 9 inches minus 1 inch giving me 8 inches. So I mark 8 inches here. After, I connect this tip to this point in this way. Next is to work on my calf bottom opening. From here, I measure inwards chest 36 divided by 6, giving me 6 inches, minus 1 inch, giving me 5 inches. So, I mark 5 inches here. Then, I connect this point to this point like this. Next is, to, next is to shape my sleeve at the elbow line. At this line, I mark inwards 0 0.75 inches for elbow shaping. After I create my sleeve side seam line like this. Next is to determine my sleeve hem band. At the hem line, I mark upwards 2 inches for sleeve hem band. Then I square across a straight sleeve hem band line. At this point, I mark outwards 1 inch extension for calf button hole placement. After I create a designer curve at the hemband in this way, here will be the position of buttonhole overlap. I'm done with the hemline area. Next is to work on the sleeve head. I come to this slant line. I measure this distance divided by 2 to get the midpoint A. 
Also, from this midpoint A, I measure this distance, divide by 2, to get midpoint B. Now, from midpoint A, I mark upwards 0 0.5 inches. Then, at this midpoint B, I mark upwards 0 0.25 inches. After using my free hand, I create sleeve head curved line like this. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost getting done with the sleeve drafting. Next is to trim out the sleeve hem band. Okay, 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 okay. Lastly is to mark out the denim small sleeve at the back. I come to this point. I measure this distance, divide by 2 to get the midpoint. So, here is my midpoint. Now, I connect this midpoint to this point like this. After, I continue with the trimming. Guys, our sleeve has already taken shape. Next is to trace out the front sleeve side. Note, always remember the front sleeve armhole is deeper than the back armhole. At this midpoint A, I mark upwards 0 0.25 inches. At this midpoint B, I mark downwards 0 0.5 inches. Then, using my free hand, I connect these points like this to create an S-like line. Next is to trim off the excess from the front side. Also, cut separate this small sleeve of the back. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our denim sleeve pattern drafting class. I say thank you so much for watching. Okay, guys, bye-bye. See you in my next video. God bless you all. Shalom. I sign out.